Hey, what's up everybody? Today we're gonna have a little unboxing video for you guys. I haven't done those in a while and I love unboxing. So let's unbox the box and see what's inside. We are having a key fender here. So we go surfing, we go foiling, we go windsurfing, we go sopping, we have electronic keys. Who has a key that opens like this? I don't know who, or not anymore. So we need somewhere to put our key because those keys sadly are not waterproof. So let's see what the solution has here, what key fender kind of a solution gives us. So opening up the box, nice box here. Main product is the key fender itself. The little box, the little cocoon where the key goes inside, comes with some accessories. Uh-huh, little strap here, that's good. And another strap okay I see that is cool that could evidently can go on here and we can hang that or we have this and it fits in the back here and you can put a key fender maybe around definitely not your waist maybe around your leg yeah so okay so if you can see that that thing is just about as long enough so you can no not my leg maybe here maybe you can strap it to your calf or maybe to your arm good idea or you can use it with the lanyard and uh, have that then opening up here interesting so you see these knobs in the front here where that hanger is you can twist that and then that opens up easy product it's got three pads inside and a little string strings are always good again another string here to hang this up and it's got those pads inside with a adhesive little uh, foamy thingy and uh, let's let's just try it out and see how it works okay strong adhesive that's what we need here comes off because we want our key to be nice and soft so we have this lanyard in the box and then not to forget of course a little instruction but as you guys could see i just unboxed this i don't think i needed an instruction particularly there's some more inside we have a sticker and a little happy unhappy key fender card and then here's your red dot sticker so here you have it the key fender pretty easy then you close this thing up, put a key inside, and go try it in the water. And this is exactly what we're gonna go do now. We're gonna go real quick and try this thing in the water. So we'll see you at the beach. All right, so we are on the beach and we're gonna try this thing out. First, I got some bad news here. I have my transit key, doesn't fit. See, that's too long. So that's, that's, that's a bummer uh, for me, that the transit key does not fit in here. I guess it's more like made for BMWs and Audis because you can see the shape of this thing. It's definitely more made for these kind of like other keys that don't even have like a barb to it. So good thing I have another key with me. I took another key. Let's uh, find that other key here. Um, so I got my uh, non water like a waterproof non electronic key that fits easily. Now, let me put that in here, and it's always kind of like difficult when you're the cameraman and everything at once. But we're gonna put this in here and let's just throw this in the water, okay? And step on it and kind of do a little bit of a durability test. Let's do a little bit of a durability test here. I got this nice and tight now. Now the base are not too big. We're gonna step in the water here. And I guess I'm just gonna throw this in. There it goes. Let the waves run over. Kick it with my foot. All right, windsurfing. It's floating, that's good. And it's of course, snake will call it red. And the cool thing is you could, like if you have an electronic key in here, see this, uh, 
the membrane here, that, that see-through window, so you can easily click on this if you had a car. So it's kind of cool. The, the key you can really live inside of that. So let's uh, toss it one more time here. Puck, there it goes. Push it underwater with my foot. Boom. Over the falls. And take it out. I think that should be pretty waterproof. So that's our little test because honestly, when you're, you're not going to use this diving down and snorkeling, uh, we're not going to go take this to the depth test. So that should be okay. So let's go back to the office and conclude our video. All right, back at the shop. I haven't opened up the case while I was driving. Opening up easy. Bone dry in here. This one is the one. So I got two of them. So easy peasy, key fits. This is a really nifty thing, particularly if you have a key that has only push buttons without, I guess you call that a barb. Uh, without the barb so that's really cool i would definitely use this product sadly my transit key does not fit inside but other than that i think this is a really cool product i would totally use that particularly for windsurfing downwinding always a thing because you drop the car off at the exit point somebody drives you up you want to bring your car key with you kind of like nice and handy that would be the product, but uh, I already ruined one of my transit keys like this because I kept taking it in the water anyways, and it used to work for probably like three, four times. I'm like, oh, cool, this thing's waterproof. Yeah, no, it broke and it would not longer work with the buttons. So there you have it, now I'm on my second key. Not good. So thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video.